modern arcade build, modern, with the arcade version 3 added to it. So it's kind of a, it's actually not a modern, it's modern plus some oldies as well. Uh, Xbox 360, Xbox, huge Windows collection of remakes like Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Street Fighter 4, King of Fighters 14, the new Tetris, um, Street Fighter vs. Tekken, Sonic 4. So all the latest remix, Raiden 5, huge remix, some pinball in there. Techno Parrot is on here. That's a huge one for a lot of people. Nintendo Switch, really fun Nintendo Switch game. I love that about this build. Super Monkey Ball, love the franchise. Remake of Star Wars Episode One, Puzzle Bobble 4 player, Super Mario Deluxe, Mario Party, Mar Super Mario um, Kart, and then Donkey Kong as well, uh, Tropical Freeze, and then Cruisin' Blast, if you like Cruisin' USA, cool mod there as well. So, uh, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, so all these systems um, in this, these two combinations. So last week, I did a build on just version 3, which is pretty cool. It gives you like GameCube and below. But what this build gives you is the additional PC games. It gives you the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 1, the Nintendo Switch and the Techno Parrot, and then the Xboxes as well. So this really is, if you're into like the, ter or the ter early 2000s, if you like that general era of gaming, this thing is a chef's kiss. Love it. It's running retro bat, so you can hit start on your controller. You can add more games, do all kind of customization. Everything's pre-configured for you. So this is a cool one. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So it's only 688 games. So the first video I put on this build was, hey, nothing but good games. And I know that's a very arbitrary thing, because what's a good game to you might not be a good game to me, but these are kind of the best-selling, bigger franchises out there. So, and it's a good mix of different systems, different eras, things like that. So, I'm going through all the games right now, and you can see, you know, it has like, when you look at the different, now this is all the different systems, right? So, from Super Nintendo, you know, and up. It's got a nice mix, like all the different Froggers, for example, all the different Galagas. Has some actually really fun, fun game. And then of course it has Joust, um, Kirby, Lemmings, Mario Kart. Look at that, we got Mario Party, every single one. This dude likes Mario Party. I don't blame him, it's a good franchise. Um, a couple different Mario Karts, bunch of Marvel Fighters. A lot of Mega Man, so he has, 11, he has 1 through 11. Pretty sweet. Metal Slugs. Micro Machines, great underrated game. I've mentioned that a lot. There's actually a couple Monkey Balls. I think the other one is under like Ultimate Monkey Ball. Good collection of Mortal Kombats. And NARC, NBA Jam, Streets. Need for Speed 2 and 3, Hot Pursuit. Underground, got to have that. Quite a little bit of uh, sports games here. We're on O, Outrun, Paperboy, Paper Mario, Plants for Zombies, Power Stone, Primal Rage. Which version of Primal Rage is this? Okay. We also have uh, R-Type, Rampage, Reel It In, RoboCop. Samurai Showdown, Snowboarding, Simpsons on here, the arcade game, ton of Sonics, ton of Soul Calibers, hey, we have Space Cadet Pinball, <laughs> and uh, Spike Out, Star Wars, Streets of Rage, Sunset Riders, does have Super Mario Wonder, nice, Super Mario Strikers, here's that other monkey ball right here. I just saw it. There you go. Super Monkey Ball Deluxe. Super Street Fighter. Ninja Turtles. Tekkens. If you like Tekken. Bunch of Tetrises. King of Fighters. Quite a few here. You got some Zeldas here. SNES. And N64. I don't know if they have the Zeldas for Switch or not. I didn't see them. We'll check them in a second. Twisted Metal. Another Marvel vs. Capcom, Virtual Fighters, 
virtual tennis, who wants to be a millionaire, wipe out worms, wrestling, X-Men, zombies ate our neighbor, ate my neighbors, and Zuma's revenge. And then we're back. So as you see, when you look at like all the games, there's definitely a catering towards certain franchises. And then here you go, a Thomas Wave, 12 games. If you're looking at that, some arcade games there. Dolphin Blue's a good one. Only 32 Dreamcast games. You saw a lot of those in there. So I'm gonna be scrolling through this a little quicker. Future Pinball, quite a few tables here. Let's go ahead and go back to here. 21 tables. And it's actually working out of the box. A lot of times people put Future Pinball on and it's not working. It works right out the box. Nintendo GameCube. So this was on the other build, so nothing new there. MAME, I believe these were on the other build as well. So nothing new here, but if you're into older games. Remember in this video, I took the, in the last video I just did the arcade build, which actually did have older systems like Mega Drive here, and Sega Model 2, Sega Model 3, Naomi, and Naomi 2. So none of this is new. That was on the other video. So if you wanna go back to that video, I'll probably post a link in the description. But um, this one, was like Nintendo 64 and above, this modern build. Um, you can download either one separately or you can combine the two. This is the combined version. And so like, for example, I don't think there was any PlayStation on the uh, version three. So you get PlayStation, PlayStation 2 is all new. And this is where it's taken up a lot of that space. Remember this is about a one terabyte file if you get both sets, one set is about 275 gigabytes. The other one, you know, is closer to 800 or so when it's all said and done. So I can understand why you might want to get one versus the other. And there's actually three Monkey Ball games on here then. PS2, GameCube, and the Switch version. Okay, not too many PS3 games, only 13. Sega Saturn, I can't remember which system, this, which build that was on, but you can compare this to the other video. Super Nintendo's definitely on the uh, V3. And then here you go, Nintendo Switch. So quite a few newer games. And uh, so you do have Super Mario Wonder, Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. All the controls are set up, it's working well. And so it's a cool uh, build if you're into Nintendo Switch. It's all pre-set up for you, nothing to download, nothing to set up. You can always add additional games really easily because it's already kind of all there. So that's kind of nice. Techno Parrot, so I think it was 20 or something, 18. Dirty Driving, Giga Win, H2 Overdrive. So these are, you know, newer arcade games. Super fun to play. And that's also why this build is so much bigger to download, is because it has these bigger games in it. Street Fighter 4, Fast and the Furious Arcade, Super Bikes Fast and the Furious. We have Wacky Races, Batman, more fighting games, Chase HQ, Contra Evolution, Back to Driving Dirty. All right, there's a ton of Windows games. Let's end there. Let's do Xbox really quick. You only have 12 games. A lot of people like to emulate Xbox. It's nice that it's all here. You can always add stuff to it later. And then Xbox 360, you actually have 36 games. So you do have uh, 3D Ultra Mini Golf. The new Arkanoid. This is where it's cool because you get to play the remakes of a lot of these games. Like the remake Double Dragon. The remake of Galaga. So, a lot of people who watch my channel like retro gaming. You know, a lot of this, although it's new, they're kind of the new remakes of the retro games. They kind of put a new spin. There's new game modes, better graphics. That's a little bit more fun sometimes. And you're going to see that theme continued here in the PC, right? Pac-Man DX, upgraded Pac-Man. Pinball FX3, upgraded Pinball. Uh, here you go, not so much. And then you're gonna see these indie games as well. It's a mix of indie games and remix. Raiden 3, 4, and 5, or Legacy and 5. Raymond Origins, WrestleMania Wrestling, Wrist Fractions, uh, some more independent games. And it's a mix of RPGs, shooters, adventure games, a little bit of everything. Sonic 4 Episode 1 and 2, Speedball, Squad 51. There's your Street Fighter 5. So Street Fighter 5 here, you have Street Fighter 4 on Techno Parrot. Street Fighter vs. Tekken. Streets of Rage 4, Super Bomberman, Super Meat Boy. 
We've got some good racing games, Shredder's Revenge, Tetris Effect. Some more indie games, King of Fighters, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade. This one's a cool one. I actually haven't played this one yet. I'm going to check it out later. All right, some more remakes. You do have Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 for PC. The, these the games are nice because also the controls are so easy. If you can get any controller to be picked up by Windows, it just works. Worms, Crazy Golf. And then some more side quest games. Alex the Kid remake. Asteroids remake. Battletoads remake. Re remake. Bro Fist. Bro Force. I almost said Bro Fist. All right. And then Centipede remake. And then Contra remake. Look at that. There's quite a few little Contra games on Steam. Remakes. And Crazy Taxi 3. Cuphead. Dave the Diver. Dead Cells. Ding Dong. Double Dragon remake. DuckTales remake. And I think we're back. Final Fantasies. G.I. Joe remake. Ghosts and Goblins remake. We actually haven't gone over all this. Guilty Gear remakes. Horizon Chase. JoJo's remake. remake. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. We have Infinite and 3 on there. Mega Man 11. Mortal Kombat Complete Edition and XL. NASCAR Need for Speed Underground 2 PC version. Outrun 2006. And then we're back at Pac-Man. So... Peggy this three. is a big build for you PC gamers. If you want the, um, if you want this particular build, it's got here you go Xbox 360, Xbox, Windows, Techno Parrot, Nintendo Switch, PS3, PS2. I think that's pretty much what you're getting on this build right here, um, which is the modern build. I'll put a link in the description in the description. If you, the other systems you're seeing here, Thomas Wave, Dreamcast, GameCube, MAME, Sega Model 2, 3, Naomi, Neo Geo, N64, all that is on a different build and it's actually separate. And so if you just want the older systems, there's a separate build for that. If you just want the newer systems, there's a build for that. Or if you want exactly what I'm looking at right now, you can merge the two builds. You just literally copy them into the same build. There's nothing else you need to do. All said and done, you're at eight. 900 almost just shy of a, a a terabyte 947 billion bytes so this is vaughn's modern arcade build with it's about 500 gigabyte or so download links in the description and then there's version three modern or modern version three expansion skip version two and that's what we have in this video is those two downloads extract them both and then put them in the same directory and you're left with this. It should be plug and play. So now let's go ahead and uh, talk about the build and play some games. So something about this build I really like is everything is squared away. I'm a huge fan of Retro Bat. It's a really great jumping off point. We've been seeing some really good Retro Bat builds coming out, and this is kind of the best of the best. So if you're looking for the best of the best, you know, now it's expanded with how many systems you get. But again, you could just do the single builds as well. A couple of these systems like Techno Parrot, uh, Nintendo Switch, the Xboxes, I think that's a net, those are more advanced emulators in my in my opinion, compared to some of these older systems and PC gaming and things like that. Very easy to do, very novice friendly. A lot of the stuff on here is a little bit more advanced, and uh, but they're still great systems with great games, and so that's why I'm really digging this build. I had a ton of fun on it because. It really is kind of my generation, what I'm really into. Kind of gives me a little bit of everything. But that's a really a personal preference. So that's why I make these videos. You can kind of see what systems are in here and everything else. But if you're putting this on a computer and you're using like an Xbox 360 controller or something like that, a lot of this is plug and play. You can add your own games. And what I didn't mention in the video so far is it's my understanding he's just building out his community. He's got a Discord you can join. He's looking at adding light gun games and a lot, lot more to it. Or you can always take this build and kind of add your own stuff to it. But I was just having a blast playing these remakes. I played a lot of Nintendo Switch. This is the um, Cruising USA remix. There's a Star Wars Episode One Pod Racer remix. You're going to see the Super Monkey Ball remake. Um, and you already saw the shoot 'em up I was playing earlier. This is all Nintendo Switch. Running flawlessly, full screen, controls all worked ready to go um now you know comments are always comments on these things um 
you know, some people asking, you know, there's some games missing, can I add my own? Absolutely. And then conversely, there was actually some people like, what if I just want like one or two games per system? Is there a bare bones build? And I'm just thinking, I guess you can't get make anybody happy. But um, yeah, you know, there's so many builds out there. This is just another candidate for you if you're looking for kind of the best of the best. Especially, I like that there's like that modern versus slightly more retro ability between these two paths. All right, is there anything wrong with this build? Is there anything like that you don't recommend? Well, I mean, these modern games are big files, so. That's really the biggest thing to me is how much bandwidth this is going to take you to get all this stuff. Especially if you don't want all these games. I think that's going to be the biggest deterrent from certain people getting it. But remember the expansion pack I reviewed last week, which I'll put a link in the description, had way more systems and games for older. And you can... Um, it's like half the size of this. And the only other thing, I, I ran into a little bit of issues with Techno Parrot. But I think that was kind of my computer too. You got to be really careful. There's just so many files and things that, and between the controls and the files, in my experience, Techno Parrot is just a lot more fickle of a system. But all I had to do was go to the emulator folder and run it from there, and it ran just fine. So I don't know what was going on. It was just on my computer. But other than that, every single thing I tried worked great. A couple of you know standout things were the future pinball actually worked. Uh, the Pinball FX3 was all pre-configured. The controls in both the uh, in the Nintendo Switch emulator and, and Dolphin emulator, all that stuff, a lot of times those are kind of messed up a little bit. Great. Ran really well. So for all those reasons, I'm digging it. That's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.